Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. Today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious sweet and spicy chicken wings in the crock pot. And you know what? They don't have to be as spicy as you think. Okay guys, we're going to start with all the ingredients that we're going to need to make our sweet and spicy wings. Now if you want to make a homemade barbecue sauce, I'm going to show you that right here. Now if you want to skip this step and make it even easier, you can buy a barbecue sauce that's already prepared in your store and then just jazz it up from there. I'm going to show you a homemade version here and we're going to be using soy sauce, honey, brown sugar, some garlic, ketchup, got salt, pepper, and some sriracha sauce here. Now this will add the heat level to your wings so if you can go high with it or you can go low with it or heck you can just take it off the board altogether if you don't want it on there okay but we're doing sweet and spicy today so we're going to add the sriracha to it okay guys i'm going to put all of this in a bowl show you how much of each and then we're going to get these wings going because i do have a secret at the end when these come out of the crock pot what i'm going to do to make these sticky wings okay let's go ahead and get started Okay, we're gonna put half a cup of brown sugar. We're gonna pack it. Guys, so what I like about making homemade barbecue sauce is that you can control the level of sugar in it, the level of sweeteners in it, the flavors, and also the heat that goes into your barbecue sauce. All right, so I just put in a quarter cup of honey. You know, if you can get honey from your area, it is really good for you. Now, we pick this up all the time at a Katy Farmer's Market and we get this about every couple of months we go down and we pick up some fresh honey that's been made in Katy. okay we're gonna put in half a cup of ketchup okay i'm gonna add two tablespoons of soy sauce nice nice level of flavor there okay now what we're going to do is add some heat now you can skip this step or you can go light with this step or you can even go more with this step okay so i'm going to add about one to two tablespoons of some sriracha here now if you want to use like a chili paste or a chili sauce that's totally fine wherever you can get some heat from. Oops, that's okay, my husband will like that. The more the merrier with him. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna add about half a teaspoon of some black pepper. And then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, let's add some garlic. I got some minced garlic here. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons. All right, let's go ahead now and mix this all together. And then you wanna give it a try and see if that's where your flavors are. I can tell you what, it smells delicious. You can pretty much put this on anything and barbecue it. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. Mm, oh my gosh. I can definitely taste that sriracha in there, but it is so delicious. What we're going to do now is bring our crock pot over here. 
Let's go ahead and pour our sauce into the sleeve of our crock pot. Okay, so I've got about two pounds of chicken wings here. I'm gonna place into my crock pot. Okay, let's go ahead now and just turn these wings all into that sauce and coat them very well. Now there's two pieces to these wings here. We have the little drumette right there and the wing. And I'm just leaving those pieces together. And if you want to separate them, you can break them in half before you put them into the sauce here. That's totally fine. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and place our lid onto the crock pot. We are going to cook these wings on high for one to two hours or two and a half to three hours on low. Now, if these were frozen, you just pulled them out of the freezer and we coated them with the sauce, then you'd wanna give them an extra hour or two. Just check for tenderness and that the wings are cooked through. Okay, my wings are all nice and cooked in the crock pot. What we're gonna do is take them out and we're gonna lay them on a single file on a sheet pan that's lined with some tin foil. Okay, so in a medium saucepan, I just put all of the barbecue sauce here that I made from the crock pot into this medium pan, and I'm just going to continually stir it over medium high heat until it thickens up. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that here in just a minute. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and turn off our heat. Now, this is definitely the consistency that we were looking for, nice and thick there. Now, if you need some help, you can add a, like a little cornstarch slurry, and I'm talking like a teaspoon and a little bit of water and kind of help thicken that up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna smear this sauce all over the top of our wings. Make sure you are slathering this on. My vent is on right now because it's pretty hot. I've got my oven set on a broil. All right, if you want to get the other side of these, just flip these over. And we're going to slather the other side. Okay, so I flipped them all over so they're top side up. That'll make them look really nice. Okay guys, I'm going to put this in my oven that's on a broil for two to three minutes until they get nice and sticky on the top and they might get just a little charred on top, which is perfectly fine. Alright, I'm going to place these in the oven and we'll be right back. Hey guys, what do you think of my crock pot sweet and spicy wings with my delicious homemade barbecue sauce? Okay, there's one person who wanted to try these first right as they came out of the oven. That is going to be my husband. So let's give a try. Okay, I have my taste tester here. Go ahead. Sweet and spicy. He's going to love this because you saw how much sriracha I put in there. I will say it's very sticky. Ooh, it's hot too. <laughs> See how sticky? Oh man. That's good. Mm -mm -mm. How's that sauce? That's good. Y'all, make your own sauce. Who needs a bottle of sauce? Make your own and dial up the flavor or dial it down. Got a nice little kick. I like it. I tasted that sauce. It was really good. Okay, from your crock pot to your broiler to your taster. There you go, people. <laughs> hey, give me a thumbs up. It was a tender. Oh, yeah. It's so tender cooking it in the crock pot. Let it do all the work, okay? 
So if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Now I'll link that other one that I have down below for the Coca-Cola wings that I made that I baked in the oven. Okay guys? If you need a tester, I'll travel. <laughs> Make this, let me know, I'll be there and I'll taste it for you. I'll send them your way. <laughs> Alright, we will see you on my next episode. Alright. <laughs> we got wet paper towels here for you. Thank you. Or is it finger licking good? Oh, it's finger licking good. Finger licking good. I'll do that off camera. <laughs>